up 500 fewer yards this past season than the allowed opponents in 1993. Wilder was among the league leaders in several defensive categories, including a number one ranking in rushing defense. The Huskies lost his status was due in part to their high-flying linebacker goal. Led by senior all-conference performer Gerald Nickelberry, Northern's linebackers might best be described as the punch front. Nickelberry, along with his fellow inside backer Mandel Hester, and true freshman outside linebacker Orlando Bowen, accounted for nearly one-third of the team's total tackles in 94. Nickelberry would conclude his story Husky career in dramatic fashion against the University of Arkansas. Nick would not only lead the team with a season best 16 tackles, but he also recovered three Razorback fumbles, all in the first half. At the 31 of NIU, Honey, now giving some time, they take down, he goes, he drops the ball, that's the loose ball, pick it up, it's no loose, out near the 50 yard line, the race is on, the big pile up there to 48, who has it? Gerald Nickelberry has it. Go to the water. Gerald Square for the dramatic would be complemented by Mandel Hester's steady consistency. The 5'11 and 232 pound junior from Harvey, Illinois, at times seemed to be everywhere on the field. His 136 stops led the Huskies in tackles and made him an all Big West honor momentous selection. With starters Hester and Bowen returning in 1995, along with their backups, Freshman Steve Smith and junior Sean Wordspond from Genesee, the legacy of the Husky Crunch Bunch should live on. But the Northern linebackers will more than likely be sharing the spotlight with their teammates on the defensive line. And in the case of nose guard Hollis Thomas, that spotlight had better be simply large. The six foot one inch, 295 pound St. Louis native would become one of the Big West dominant defensive players during the 1994 season. Not only is Hollis extremely strong, but his great quickness and mobility allow him to wreak havoc in opponent's backfield. Single receiver right to the right side, that better drop back. That's now getting the horse up the pocket, but it gets the one now, back to the 15 and the 16-yard line, and Thomas Thomas comes in. Thomas's 13 tackles for losses would tie him with fellow lineman C.J. Rose for the team lead. Rose's move from linebacker to defensive end in 94 further enhanced his title of Havoc Inc. by allowing him more opportunities to get into the face of opposing quarterbacks. Will receive around to the White Sox on second down. Straight back, there he goes! C.J. Rose to run around Mark Welker. The junior from Clinton, Iowa, continues to rack up some dizzy stats. In 94, he collected nine quarterback sacks, 11 pass deflections, he caused three fumbles, recovered three fumbles, and intercepted a pass. It's numbers such as these that are among the reasons C.J. Rose, along with Hollis Thomas, return next season as distinguished All-Big West performers.